oh my gosh, it's hot. What can we do in our gardens to deal with the heat that we're seeing? Welcome back to the Planning to Garden podcast. Today I want to talk about the heat wave in the western United States, and especially in here in California where I am. We're seeing triple-digit temperatures in the valley and all the way on up into the mountains. It is just hot. So what can we do in our gardens to help mitigate the effects of that? Well, to get at that question, we need to talk about an idea called radiant energy, and then we'll talk about what we can do about it. So radiant energy sounds complicated, but you already understand it. If you are out on a hot day and you're standing out in the sun, you start to get too hot, what do you do? You walk into the shade. And what you're doing when you do that is you're taking yourself out of the path of the direct radiant energy of the sun, the photons coming from the sun, uh, so that you are not getting that direct transfer of energy, of radiant energy onto your skin and onto your clothes. So that's radiant energy in a nutshell. Now, the best way to deal with radiant energy is to plant a tree. Trees are absolutely amazing. They're self-replicating systems to provide shade and microclimates and wood and maybe fruit and all sorts of benefits. Uh, they do take a little while to establish, but it is totally worth it. So I love trees. But let's talk about specifically what they're doing relative to mitigating the radiant energy that's coming down during a heat wave. They're addressing that through three things. First, the, the canopy of the leaves is blocking the direct radiant energy from getting to the ground, to your house, to passing through the air, and keeping it from getting onto your skin or onto your clothes. All of that makes you much more comfortable. The second thing that trees are doing is that instead of taking in the the radiant energy that they're that is falling on them and heating up and then re-radiating that as infrared energy that would heat up the air trees instead are taking that energy and they're converting it into sugar so they're actually translating it into a different form in in the form of sugars so that it doesn't become heat and it doesn't heat up the air the third thing that trees are doing, and all plants do this, is that they transpire water. It's how plants keep themselves cool. They basically sweat. And so they put that water into the air, and the air is able to hold more heat through, by the little molecules of water in the air absorbing that energy and just spinning a little faster. So those are the three things that trees are doing. They're blocking the radiant energy, they're converting that energy into sugars, and they're transpiring water to basically create a microclimate. You could think of trees as big evaporative coolers. And in a climate like California, where the air is relatively dry in the summer when it's hot, uh, that has a huge impact on making the air temperature more comfortable. You can really see this if you are walking along a path and you come out of bright sunlight and onto a shaded section of the path. It is much more comfortable to be under that high canopy of leaves that are b giving you dappled sunlight and, and blocking a lot of that radiant energy. What you could do right now with this is go out into your garden and look around. Is there a space in your garden that just is uncomfortable because when you get into that hot late afternoon sun, it just gets blasted. There's no protection. If you find that spot, look around and see, is there a place to kind of the south and west of that where you could plant a tree that would have enough ground space to allow the roots to grow and enough sort of separation from the wall of the house so that the canopy has a chance to mature and not mess up the siding of the house. The key to this is that you want the shade from the tree in the late afternoon when you're at the top of the temperature curve to create shade for that space that you're trying to protect. And you want to pick a tree that's appropriately sized so that it gets big enough to be effective and also small enough that it fits appropriately with the space that you have. To summarize, if you have something like a heat wave, you need to mitigate the amount of energy coming into that space. One of the best ways to do that is to mitigate the radiant energy input. And trees are the best way to do that. They do it by blocking the radiant energy, by absorbing the radiant energy and converting it into sugars, and by 
transpiring water so that the air can actually pick up more and more of that energy. Take a look around and see if there's a, a place in your garden where that could be a useful strategy. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.